everybody. Uh, we want to welcome you this morning to a time of prayer and a time of just seeking the face of God. Uh, we are coming to you from New Bath Covenant Church. Um, this is the morning mist broadcast, so we want to welcome each and every one of you. We trust that God has kept you well. God has um, been good to you. Hallelujah. Praise God. We trust that you have woken up well. The Bible t teaches us that you know, when we go to sleep, it is God who wakes us up in the morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. So we want to welcome each and every one of you. So if you can, you know, reach out to your friends, your family, uh, and just ask them that uh, the prayer prayer broadcast has started. Uh, and they can join in to, to pray together with us. Even if they, they don't know how to pray, they can just, you know, log in uh, and join the broadcast just to listen to the prayers that you know we will be praying uh, and probably be sharing the word of God even this morning hallelujah praise God so we want to welcome each one of you this morning into the presence of God so we we are grateful to God for his grace the Bible says that the masses of God are new every morning so we believe that even this morning his masses are new over our lives in Jesus mighty name hallelujah so we just want to go before the Lord and um and just you know uh, uh, glorify him and bless his name uh, as a, as is our custom as a people you know when we come to god we come to him not firstly to you know to 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 make our needs or our requests known to god but we come to just have fellowship with him to just come you know uh, enjoy his company enjoy his presence and just have conversations with him uh, and 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 one of the key things about that is that when we come to him we come uh, knowing that he is the great god we know that he is the mighty god so we come to him with reverence we come to him with with honor we come to him uh, with a consciousness that 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 he is god hallelujah so we come to him uh, with respect in jesus mighty name and we know that jesus taught his disciples and he said to them that when you pray when you pray the order of prayer in terms of priority is that when we come to pray the first thing that we need to pray is to is to give honor and glory to the name of the lord and we see that uh, even in psalm 29 and i'm going to read from verse 1 and 2 and actually this morning i will be i will just be dwelling on this psalm 29 for the most part of this prayer time um i will just dwell in psalm 29 in jesus name amen and so psalm 29 says that give unto god give unto the lord O you mighty ones give unto the lord glory and strength give unto the lord the glory that is due to his name so it means that there is something that is due to god there is something that we do to, that is due to god and there are people that have that thing that they, they that they that is due to god and they have to give it to god and so the thing that is due to god is glory hallelujah it says that give unto the lord O you mighty ones give unto the lord glory and strength give unto the lord the glory due to his name and so we just come before god this morning to give him glory we come before him to honor him to adore him to tell him that there is really no one like him that he alone is worthy to receive praise he alone is worthy to receive honor in the name of jesus so in your home this morning just go before the lord uh, and just go before the lord in praise in worship in adoration and tell god who he is to you tell him who he is to you how much he means to you in the name of the lord father we thank you this morning we glorify your name we exalt you for you alone are worthy to receive praise we glorify your name for you alone are worthy to receive glory and honor in the name of the lord jesus we praise you for you alone are worthy there is no other god in the heavens and the earth that is worthy to receive our praise but you alone the mighty god of heaven and earth the god of israel the lord god almighty your name is excellent your name is exalted your name is lifted up your name oh god is incomparable in the name of jesus and this morning we come to you oh god with gratefulness in our hearts we come to you oh god with gratitude in our hearts we come to you oh god lord bringing a sacrifice of praise oh lord we offer our praise to you this morning this is our offering to you oh god this morning as we begin the day we bring a sacrifice we bring an offering of praise we 
bring an offering of thanksgiving. We bring an offering of honor in the name of the Lord Jesus. The fruit of our lips, oh God, we give it to you. We ascribe glory to your name. We ascribe praise to your name. We ascribe beauty to your name in the name of the Lord Jesus, saying that power belongs to you. Glory belongs to you. Strength belongs to you. You are the God of all wisdom. You are the God of all strength. You are the God of all might, O oh God. There is nothing that you cannot do, O oh God. With you, everything is possible. We thank you for your mercies that are new this morning over our lives. We thank you for your grace that is sufficient in our lives this day. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we have woken up this morning because you have caused us to wake up. In in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We do not take our lives for granted this morning. We do not take our lives, our being alive for granted this morning. We know it is by the grace of God. We know it is by the grace of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Paul says that I am what I am by the grace of God. Everything that we are this morning, everything that we have this morning, oh God, it is by your grace. It is because of your grace, not because of our abilities, not not because of our intellect, not because, oh God, we were smarter than others, not because, oh God, we ran faster than others, oh God. The Bible says that the race is not to the swift, neither is the battle for the strong, but time and chance happen to them all. We thank you, oh God. The Bible says that it is neither of him that willeth, neither of him that runneth, but it is of God who shows mercy. So we thank you for you have shown us mercy this morning. We thank you for you have showed us mercy this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus. So we bless your name. We lift up our hands this morning to bless you. We lift up our hands this morning to glorify you. We lift up our hands this morning and we give you a wave offering. We give you a wave offering. We give you a wave offering. We give you a wave offering, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you for strength. We thank you for provision. We thank you for protection. You you have shielded us, O oh God, from the enemy. And we bless your name and we worship you in the name of Jesus. Even as we begin the day today, Lord, we are committing our hearts to you. We are committing our lives to you in the name of Jesus. As we begin the day today, we are starting the day by calling upon your name in the name of the Lord Jesus. David said, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heavens and earth. That is our prayer proclamation this morning. That is our confession this morning. That our help comes from you, O oh God. Today, we know that we will need help along the way. We know that we will need support along the way, O oh God. And when we will need it, O oh God, we will lift up our eyes unto you. For you are the God who supplies to our needs according to your riches in glory. You will supply strength and grace. You will supply wisdom and knowledge. You you will supply the anointing of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. So we bless your name as we give you glory, as we give you praise, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We give you glory and strength according to your word in Psalm 29. We give you glory and strength. We give you glory that is due to your name, O oh God, the honor that is due to your name, the majesty that is due to your name. We give it to you, O oh God. We hold not back, O oh God. We do not hold back our worship, our thanksgiving. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we do not hold it back. We release it to you for it is due to you in Jesus' mighty name. So God, we bless you. We worship you in the beauty of your holiness. We join the elders, O oh God, in the heaven and we join the angels singing, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Worthy is he to receive glory. Worthy is he to receive praise. Worthy is he to receive honor and power in the name of Jesus. We we join them in the heavenly proclamation singing Hosanna in the highest. Hallelujah to your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. So we praise you, O God, for your holiness. We praise you for your majesty. You are a God who is dependable. You are God who is faithful. You are God with integrity. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you for you are God on our side. We thank you for you are God who fights our battles. We 
thank you for you are God who rescues us from destruction. Bible says that you sent your word and healed us of our disease and delivered us from our destruction. So we thank you for your deliverances in our lives. We thank you for your healings in our lives. We thank you for your liftings in our lives. We thank you for your promotions in our lives. We thank you for the anointing of the Holy Spirit in our lives, O oh God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. And we honor you. For you are worthy. Glory to God. Just before we continue. Before we continue in that Psalm 29. I just want us to go back. A little bit. To Psalm 24. Just want to pray. Over this day. We want to pray commanding the gates of this day, commanding the doors of this day. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we want to establish, pray that let today we are establishing the will of God over this day. We are establishing the dominion and the reign of God over our lives, even in this day. In the name of Jesus, as we begin the day today, we want to pray the prayer that Jesus said to the disciples. This is how you pray. And he said one of the things that you pray, pray that your kingdom come, your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. So I want us to pray this morning over the gates of the day, the door ways of this day in the mighty name of Jesus we want to pray commanding the gates of the day to open in the name of the Lord Jesus and Psalm 24 says verse 7 lift up your heads O you gates be, be and be lifted up you everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in who is this king of glory the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Lift up you, ever, you, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. It seems that, that the only thing that is stopping the King of glory from coming in and establishing his dominion and his, his reign is a gates that, are, that have been shut. So the, the psalmist is saying, is speaking to the gates and is speaking to them saying, lift up your heads be lifted up open up he's speaking to the gates because he says that he says that the king of glory wants to come in and establish his dominion so we want to pray over this day in the name of the lord jesus that let the gates of this day be opened in the name of jesus that the king of glory may come in we want to pray this day that let the will of the lord be established over our lives today in the name of Jesus, let the plan of God, let the workings of God be established. The things that God wants to do and accomplish in our lives today, we pray that in the name of Jesus, there will be no hindrance by way of shut doors, by way of shut doors. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory be to God. Go ahead and begin to pray, commanding the gates of this day to be opened. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We bless your name, O God. You taught us to pray. And and you say that when we pray, we should pray saying that let the kingdom of God come. We should pray that the kingdom of God could come in the name of the Lord Jesus so that the will of God may be established here on earth as it is in the heavens, O God. So we pray today, speaking to the gates of this day, commanding them to be opened in the name of the Lord Jesus. According to Psalm 24, we speak to the gates of this day in Jesus' mighty name. Lift up your heads, O ye gates be lifted up you everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in the king of glory needs to come into our lives the king of glory needs to come into our affairs so we pray this morning commanding the gates to be opened commanding the gates to be lifted up the gates to our lives the gates to everything that concerns our lives in the name of the lord jesus we command the gates to be opened we command the gates to be opened we command the gates to be opened in the name of the Lord Jesus so that the king of glory shall come in and the Bible says who is this king of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle so we command the gates of this day to open we speak to the gates of this day to open the ancient gates we command them to be opened and we decree and we declare this morning that the will of God shall be established over our lives today the kingdom of God father we pray 
let it come let it come let it come over our lives today let your kingdom come let your will be established oh god concerning our lives concerning oh god everything everything in our lives we pray let your will be done let your will be done as it is in the heavens oh god concerning our families let it be done here on earth in jesus mighty name so we command the gates to be opened we command the gates to be opened we command the gates to be opened in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus nothing shall stop the working of god in our lives today nothing shall hinder the move of god in our lives today nothing shall hinder the purposes of god in our lives today for the bible says that no purpose of god shall be withheld from him so we decree over our lives today that no purpose of god shall be withheld the thing that god has intended to do in our lives we pray we declare it today over this day we declare it in the gates of the day that the will of the lord shall be done today in the mighty name of jesus for it is not by power it is not by might but by my spirit says the lord by my spirit says the lord so we command the gates of this day to be opened in the mighty name of the lord jesus hallelujah glory 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 hallelujah I'm just trying to find another scripture here that has just come to my mind glory to god hallelujah in the book of isaiah Isaiah 45 still talking about gates and doors. He says Isaiah 45 verse 1 that says the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus whose right hand I have held to subdue nations before him and to lose the armor of kings and then back to what we just prayed about to open before him the double doors so that the gates will not be shut praise god hallelujah so it means that there are things that god wants to bring in but because the gates are shut they cannot come in but here god is talking about his anointed and he says one of the mandates that he has given him is that this is the man that is going to open double doors he is the man that because of him the gates will not shut praise god because of the anointing of god that was upon Cyrus praise God and we want to pray today over our lives we want to pray over your life that because of the anointing of God that is over your life that doors the doors that doors shall open before you in the name of Jesus and not just singular doors but double doors in the name of Jesus that because of the anointing of God over your life that the gates will not be shut to lock you out to lock you out of places to lock you out of opportunities in the name of the Lord Jesus to lock you out of connections life changing connections to to lock you out uh, out of Uh, out of wealthy places in Jesus name so we pray I want us to pray this morning that by reason of the anointing of God over our lives that doors shall be opened before us in the name of Jesus that doors shall respond to the anointing of God over our lives that gates shall be flung open in response to the anointing of God over our lives in Jesus name so go ahead and pray and declare it over your life declare it over this day concerning everything in your life life that by reason of the anointing by reason of the anointing by reason of the anointing of God and remember you are anointed you are anointed because the bible says that when god came to jeremiah and he called him in jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 he says that i chose you i called you i anointed you to be uh, you know to be to be a king hallelujah to be a prophet unto the nations so there was an anointing that came with the calling of god in the name of the lord jesus so we want to pray with this understanding that we are anointed by god there is a reason why you are anointed by god you are anointed by god so that you can accomplish certain 
certain things for God in the name of the Lord Jesus. And things will respond not to you necessarily, but they will respond to the anointing of God that you carry. So we pray this morning over our lives that let things respond to the anointing of God that we carry in our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for the anointing of the Holy Spirit in our lives. We thank you for your anointing. You have called us and you have anointed us, O oh God. And because of that anointing, just as you anointed Cyrus, O oh God, and he became an instrument in your hands to accomplish your purpose, so God, have you anointed us and made us instruments in your hands that we may accomplish your purposes in our generation and in our time. So we pray, O oh God, the same way that Cyrus received a mandate to subdue nations before him and the thing that gave him the power to accomplish that was the anointing of the Holy Spirit. So we pray today in the name of Jesus that by reason of the same anointing, the anointing of the Holy Spirit over our lives, that nations shall be subdued before us, that the, that the armor of kings, oh God, shall be loosed in the name of Jesus, that by reason of the anointing of God over our lives, that double doors shall open, doors shall respond to the anointing of God, doors shall respond, the doors that we will go knocking for opportunities by reason of the anointing of the Holy Spirit, they will respond, they will open in Jesus' mighty name, the doors that we will go knocking, knocking for connections, knocking for business, knocking, oh God, so that we may have access to certain levels and certain things and certain people. My God, we pray this morning in the name of Jesus that by the reason of the anointing of God, these doors shall not close. They will open before us. They will open before us in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In fact, we prophesy this morning that as we knock on one door, there will be double doors opening because your word says that, my God, to open before him the double doors, not just single doors. So we pray for multiple doors, multiple opportunities, multiple associations, multiple connections, multiple things, everything that God will encounter. Let it be in multiples, in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus. We pray that by reason of the anointing of God over our lives, the gates will not be shut in Jesus' mighty name. The gates will not be shut, Lord. Gates that will be that, that are meant to lock us out by reason of the anointing, they will not be shut in Jesus' name. The gates will respond to the anointing. So we speak to every gate in the name of the Lord Jesus. Respond to the anointing of God. Respond Respond to the anointing of God in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So we decree and we declare over the gates of this day. You cannot remain shut. Because you must respond to the anointing of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So Father we thank you. And we praise your holy name. Hallelujah. Praise God. So let's go back to that Psalm 29. That's Psalm 29. We just want to continue reading and praying that whole psalm. And so we've, we've, we've looked at verse number 1 and 2. I just want us to continue. Verse number 3. Now, I just want you, as we, as we continue, I just want you to notice something here about the progression of this psalm. So from verse 1 and 2, it's talking about us giving God glory, us giving God honor as praising him and exalting his name, as giving him the glory that is due to his name. We give him what is due to him. Praise the name of the Lord. We, we do not hold back. We do not hold back. We do not hold back. We have given him, and so, and, and we, we, we've given him worship. We've, we've given him honor. And so the progression switches now, and immediately now in verse 3, a new thing gets introduced, and it's the voice of God. And, and I believe that verse 3 is, comes into play in response to what has happened in verse 1 and 2. And so verse 1 and 2 again for emphasis. Uh, the people of God have just come before God and they have, they have given God glory. They have praised him. 
they have exalted him they have just magnified him they and and this is genuine this is genuine worship this is genuine uh, adoration you know they, 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 this is this is not something that is being done out you know out of uh, just to, to for the sake of doing it but it's genuine it's genuine worship praise god so verse 3 says the voice of the lord is over the waters the god of glory thunders the lord is over many waters so this is god's response to what the people have just done people have just worshiped god and god is responding in a very interesting way here hallelujah and so the bible says that god responds with a voice and his, that voice is a voice that is over the waters. And then the God of glory thunders. It is, it is interesting how God has chosen to respond in this situation. Because it seems like God is ad has adopted a militant approach in his response. Hallelujah. He's, it's like this Psalm 29. God's response is a militant kind of response. And so the voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. We all know when there is thunder and lightning, it can be pretty scary. Praise God. When there is thunder alone, you know, it is so scary because the sound of thunder can send some people to hide under their beds or to look for a place where they, you know, they, they, they think that it is safe for them. But, but God here is responding with, with thunder. He says, the Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. Look at that. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord. Now, God now, you know, it's interesting here because now it's talking about what the voice has come to do. So the voice has come to, number one in verse five, the voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord splinters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes them also skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian like a wild ox. The voice of the Lord divides the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. Look at what the voice is doing. Look at what the voice is, is, is achieving and accomplishing. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness and the Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth. I need you to understand that when it is talking about the voice of the Lord and, 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 and its demonstration of its might here, uh, it, it, it could still be the still small voice of God that we know. Praise God. We, I know we are familiar with the still small voice, the, you know, the voice that we hear behind us. But in the realm of the spirit, when God speaks, that voice of God in the realm of the spirit, it is not a still small voice. Praise God. And that's why you see all these things happening like thunder, like there is a breaking, you know, that like there is a shaking. When God speaks, things shake, things break. You know, things are turned upside down. Praise the name of the Lord. So the voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forests bare. And in his temple, everyone says glory. Praise God. And I want us to pray this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now we know that the voice of God is powerful. That when God speaks, when God speaks, when God releases a sound from the heavens, that sound or that voice is powerful. You know, when I, just to bring it to our understanding, our, 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 our understanding, when, when, the, when, the, when the voice, when the voice, when the God releases a sound, it could be God releases a word. Praise God. And so when that word is released in the realm of the spirit, it is not just a word. There is a sound that comes with that word. And in the realm of the spirit, that sound is powerful. That voice, that sound is full of majesty. And so I want us to pray this morning in the name of Jesus Christ that the word of God or the voice of God that is represented by the word of God spoken over our lives, that let our lives encounter the power of his spoken word. That let our lives encounter the majesty of his spoken word. 
In other words, let our lives see the majestic fulfillment and manifestation of the spoken word of God in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want us to pray that let us experience, come into an experience of the majestic power of the voice of God. That every situation, every circumstance in our lives will encounter the majestic power the majestic sound of the voice of God over our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, Father, we thank you for your voice. We thank you for the sound of heaven that has been released over the earth and over our lives in Jesus' mighty name. We understand from your word, O oh God, in Psalm 29 that your voice is over the waters. Your voice is over our lives in the name of Jesus. We understand from your word, O oh God, that you, God, you are the God of glory and you thunder, O oh God. You are over many waters. We thank you and we understand from the word of God that your voice is powerful, that the word that you speak is powerful in the name of Jesus. We understand from your word, O oh Lord, that your voice or your word is full of majesty in Jesus mighty name so we pray this morning oh God let our lives encounter the majesty of your voice the majesty of your word in Jesus mighty name let our lives encounter the majesty of your voice in the name of the Lord Jesus let every circumstance <coughs> Let every situation, oh God, that is standing stubborn in our lives, let it encounter the majestic and awesome power of your voice in the name of Jesus. For your voice thunders over many waters. In Jesus' name, I pray, let your voice thunder over every circumstance in our lives. Let your voice thunder over every situation in our lives. Let your voice thunder over every circumstance in our workplaces, in our businesses in the name of Jesus in our families we pray let the voice of God thunder over every situation that God is not aligned to your will and your purpose oh God in the name of the Lord the Bible says that the voice of God breaks the Seder in the name of Jesus we pray that let every hardness every hardness in our lives be broken by the voice of God let every hardness in our lives in our finances in our relationships relationships oh God be broken my God by the voice of God in Jesus mighty name let every hardness of situations and circumstances in lives and families oh God and communities be broken my God by the voice of the Lord in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus your voice divides the flames of fire your voice shakes the wilderness your voice oh God in Jesus mighty name your voice makes the deer give birth I ah, thank you, God, for you are a God of product. You are a God of increase. So we pray that by reason of your voice that makes the deer give birth, I pray, cause there to be a birthing of purposes. Cause there to be a birthing of ideas. Cause there to be a birthing, oh God, of the supernatural in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. By the reason of your voice spoken over our lives, we pray, cause there to be, oh God, a coming forth in Jesus' mighty name name a coming forth from captivity a coming forth from bondage in the name of the Lord Jesus a coming forth from the place of lowness for coming forth oh God from the place of oppression by reason of the voice of God spoken and thundering over the things that are holding us captive in the name of Jesus. I pray that let the voice of God thunder over every chain, my God, that is holding us back and keeping us in the place of bondage. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Let the voice of God thunder. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. So, we continue in verse number 10 of that Psalm 29. So, the Bible says that the Lord sat enthroned at the flood, and the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord sat enthroned at the flood. We remember the scripture that says that when the enemy comes in like a flood, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of God will set up a standard against him. 
Here the Bible says that the Lord sat enthroned at the flood. Even that thing, that thing that is seeking to, 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 to terrorize you, that thing that is seeking to, to drive you away, that thing that is seeking to bring you down, that, that thing that is intimidating you and is threatening to, you know, to carry you out, you know, to carry you over, that thing that is seeking to wash away and you know, to destroy your life. The Bible says that flood, that situation, God, God is sitting enthroned on it. God is the God of that flood. God is the God of that situation in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. God is the God of that situation. Because we will not have time to share the word, I'll just keep sharing as we we'll make this last prayer this morning. So the Lord sat enthroned at the flood. We all know that floods are always raging. Floods are always raging. They are always raging and they sweep everything in their path. And even in its raging, the Bible says that God sits enthroned on that flood. God sits enthroned on that flood. And he is not moved by the rage in the flood. With that understanding now we know that every flood, speaking just you know symbolic of situations and circumstances in our lives that are raging and seeking to to to, to you know to, to, to wipe us off or to drive us downstream. God is sitting over those situations. God is enthroned over those circumstances. God is enthroned. He is sitting right above them. They can never be above God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so just, I just, just wanted to drop that as the word for the day for you. Praise God. That's Psalm 10, Psalm 29 verse 10. That is the word of the Lord today for us. That the Lord sits enthroned at the flood. Just keep that in mind today as you go about the day. That the Lord sits enthroned at the flood. Praise God. Over every circumstance. So as you go about today and you encounter situations and difficulties, just remind yourself. Psalm 29 verse 10. God sits enthroned above this situation. God sits enthroned above this thing that seems that it's, it's threatening to pull me down is threatening to drive me crazy. God sits enthroned above it. God, God is in control of that thing in Jesus' mighty name. And then verse 11, and I'm just going, we're going to pray this last verse, uh, verse 11 of chapter 29 of Psalm. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace in Jesus' mighty name. So I want us to pray over this day today that God will give you strength for the day. God will strengthen you for the day. God will give you ability, supernatural strength for the day. Many, there could be people that are feeling that they don't have strength to move ahead today. They don't know how they're going to make it through the day. They don't know how, what's going to happen through the day. Today we are praying that God will give strength to us in Jesus' mighty name and that the Lord will bless his people with peace. So go ahead and pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for your family. Pray. Pray, 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 pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Pray that God will give you strength. Pray that God will give you strength. Strength to go about your business today. Strength to go about your work today. Strength to do things that, that would seem impossible in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. And according to Psalm 29 verse 11, we pray. Lord, you said in your word, you've promised that you will give strength to your people. So today we ask, oh God, standing on this scripture, that Lord, give us strength for the day. Give us strength for the day. Strengthen us for the day, oh God. In the name of Jesus, give us strength sufficient to carry us through the day that causes us to accomplish the things that we need to accomplish today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, your word also says that you will release a blessing of peace over your people so we pray today in the name of jesus release the blessing of peace over your people release the blessing of peace over
over your people in the name of the Lord Jesus. A blessing of peace. We release it over your lives. We release the blessing of peace as you go about your business today. According to the word of the Lord, we stand declaring the blessing of peace over your lives. We stand declaring the blessing of peace over your lives and over your affairs today in the name of Jesus as you will go about the day. There will be nothing that will be cause you to worry, nothing that will cause you to, to be fearful, nothing that will cause you to be intimidated because of the blessing of peace that is upon your life in the name of the Lord Jesus. Even in the midst of challenging situation today, we are declaring that the peace of God undergirds you in the name of Jesus. The blessing of peace is upon your life. The blessing of peace is upon your family. The blessing of peace is upon your children. The blessing of peace is upon this nation in the name of the Lord Jesus. We decree where there has been raging storms, we decree the blessing of peace in the name of Jesus. Where there has been conflicts, whatever kinds of conflicts, business conflicts, marital conflicts, relational conflicts, whatever kinds of conflicts, financial conflicts, contractual conflicts, we decree the blessing of peace in the name of Jesus. And with that peace, you will go out and do and accomplish that which you need to accomplish in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. So Father, we thank you for the blessing of peace. And we declare it over your li our lives. We declare it over the lives of your people. Over every person that God is in this broadcast. Every person that will stumble upon this broadcast, oh God. We are declaring the blessing of peace over their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the, the name of the Lord. And so um, that is it for today. We want to thank God for his grace and we want to thank him for his mercy. And uh, we know that we will have a good day today. Praise the name of the Lord. And so I just want to, as we conclude this morning, I just want to ask uh, if there is anybody who has joined this broadcast this morning. Uh, maybe you were invited or maybe you just stumbled upon it. Uh, you've not given your life to Jesus. You'd want to give your life to Jesus, you want to have a relationship with God. And perhaps you do not know how to go about that. Maybe you do not know what, what, how do I get saved. It is very simple. For us to get saved, the Bible says that if we believe with our hearts and confess with our mouths that Jesus Christ is Lord, we shall be saved. It's as simple as that. We believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that Jesus came and died on the cross and he rose up again and he ascended into heaven and he came he died for our sins he took our place hallelujah praise the lord he became a substitute for us and he took our place and he paid the price now we are the redeemed of god we've been redeemed by the blood of jesus christ and the only thing that god requires of us to be reconciled with him is to believe in his son jesus christ so if you are there and you want to give your life to Jesus, you want to recommit your life to Jesus, or maybe you had even given your life to Jesus before, you were a believer before, but somewhere along the way, you slipped or you messed up and then you, you backslid, uh, and you, 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 you basically just fell, uh, fell aside, and, and, and you feel a conviction of God. This morning, we want to let you know that God is not mad at you. God loves you so much. God loves you so much. He hasn't changed his mind about you. Praise the name of the Lord. I feel the Holy Ghost. God has not changed his mind about you. Praise God. He still loves you with the same love that he loved you before. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Just because you made a mistake doesn't ma mean that God canceled you out. Just because you, you messed up one way or another doesn't mean that God is upset with you. God is, in, is madly in love with you. And I just want to lead us in a brief, uh, you know, very simple prayer of just commitment to God and commitment to Jesus Christ. And you will be born again. You will be rededicated to Jesus. And I know that your life will never be the same again. So if you could just kindly repeat after me and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you that you love me enough to even give me a conviction right now, a conviction that I need you. So with my mouth, with my heart, I believe. With my mouth, I confess 
that Jesus Christ is Lord. I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to forgive me of all my sin. I ask you to write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. From this day forward, I rededicate my life to you. I commit my life to you. I am yours and you are mine. And from this day, I will live to serve you. I will live to honor you. I will live to worship you. Thank you. So you've born again. God bless you so much. Uh, if you definitely you will need guidance, you know, so there are numbers on your screen there. You can just reach out to us. We will guide you accordingly in Jesus' mighty name. If you want to give toward this uh, ministry to support this ministry, uh, the MPESA pay bill number is just on your screen, 655-125. I just send your gift, your offering as the Lord leads you, as the Lord enables you. And we know that God will bless you. So we've come to the end of this day's broadcast. We want to thank you for joining us. God bless you so much. Have a good day and see you next time. Amen.